Okay, good morning everybody. I hope you're doing well. Just a super fast um, video here for you. This is what you need to get your um, yeast sourdough yeast starter going. So what I want you to do um, is I this is how you literally make new yeast from yeast that is actually inside this flour bag um kind of asleep inside the yeast um is still inside this flour um that was used to make this flour doing is you're just going to slowly over three four five days wake this yeast inside here up <coughs> what do you need to do um it works best with distilled water um your tap water has chlorines and minerals and other nutrients in there um that can interfere with waking this yeast up. So I always use unbleached um, all-purpose flour. You can use other kind of whole grain flours if you have like a rye flour around, um, another type of wheat, that's fine. Um, it's best to have kind of the most um, least processed flour. Distilled water, um, you can get that at the grocery store. It's not expensive. I mean, I assume there's still distilled water. If you don't have it, use tap water. Um, but if you want really the best results, as we say, uh, try to get some distilled water. Okay, so I use this jar, and I know it looks horrible because it's rusted, but none of what we're going to do is going to um, touch this rusted metal piece. You want to take three tablespoons of flour. Three tablespoons of flour and put it inside here. Then you're going to take two tablespoons of distilled water and put it inside here. And then I take a fork and I simply, it makes like a toothpaste. It's not very attractive the first day, but throughout the day, return to this, place your jar slightly open, not flopped open, but slightly open because your um, yeast, as it starts to be um, awoken, will need um, oxygen. So you don't want to seal this tightly. Throughout the day, maybe two more times during the day, um, and this is on your counter. I leave it on top of my stove. Um, I mean, I wouldn't cook like a super boiling hot water next to it, but um, if I have something in the oven, it seems to enhance the um, process a little bit. I don't put it in the oven, but if you know what I mean, that top surface can get a slightly warmer. So I just leave it there and I return to it and I stir it up. And I stir it around about five hours later. You're going to notice it's changing very slightly. Um, tomorrow, you'll start this if you don't do it today. And, um, Every day, I just do this in the morning, I feed the yeast. <laughs> so I'll do three, one, two, three more flour tomorrow, and one, two of distilled water. Mix it together. And, um, you know, every three or four hours I go and I just give it a little stir. How does that sound? Easy peasy? All right, let's all do this together. Mine I started this morning. All right. Thanks. Bye.